Oh no, 100 rupees, whatever will we do? <laughs> yes, why would I be concerned about you upgrading my shield? Make it better. You've been kind of particularly attached to the shield? I'm attached to the rupees it costs, but that's about it. Alright. Yo! You've upgraded to a upgraded to a divine shield. And this mysterious shield can repair itself over time. It's also more durable. Oh. Can I upgrade my shield again? Oh, I can. Ooh. I need a blue feather. And a dusk relic. But we don't have a dusk relic. Oh, we've got four. Oh no, we've got five. Oh no, we just need blue feathers. Uh, oh, you know what's gonna happen next, don't you? Back to Faron. <laughs> I know where I can find some blue feathers. Farron Woods with a bug net. We shall see. And then, we'll go back, get the shield upgraded, and then we finally upgraded to the best shield. I know. I've also realised I've still got a can of lemonade here, and I haven't finished. Oh, actually. Just pour it into my tumbler. Uh, tum tumbler into my tankard. All the tiny amount of it that's left. Whatever. Okay, so. I need to go to Farron. That's not Farron. No, is it? Oh, bloody hell. No, it's the, it's the other one. Right, there we go. Full of blindness. Always a joy. Such a joy. Right. Only red green color deficiency. Really enough, I can see red and green, it's just various shades of the two that I can't see. I don't know. Wait, is, what's purple? Is that red and green? Not good with purple. So it looks bluish to me. And green can look brown and brown green, depending, etc., etc., etc. Purple and red is blue. Oh. So, okay, that, that kind of works as well, I suppose. <laughs> but all I know is... Purple is red and blue. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, no, I don't know why I just said. I've lost track of where my thoughts are. Anyway, all I know is that when the G... When the... Not GP. When the optometrist... Optician? Optician! That's the word I'm looking for. When the optician pulled out the colour blindness book... Because, in his words, it will be quicker for me to just redo the test than to find the paper copy of your original test. He pulled up the colorblindness book, and it's like a magic eye picture. And it's a lot of colored dots, and they form a number. But for it was weird, because the, some there were numbers, but for others, I couldn't see the numbers at all. So, my, I can't see red... I, he said it's a red-green color deficiency, so... Eh... <laughs> Oh, heck if I know how it works. All I know is that when I was originally playing Battlefield 3, I had to turn on the colorblindness setting because I kept friendly firing my own teammates because they looked the color that was above their head, which I think was an orange or it was a green or something. Either way, the color above their head looked exactly, pretty much exactly the same as the color over the enemy's heads. So, yeah. But once I turned on the colorblindness mode, it all became so much easier to play. <laughs> Um, what was I looking for again? I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, I need to go for in the woods, and I need to catch some birds. Also, hail Just Razor, welcome. Oh, that's the wrong button, but cool. There we go. Here we see the lesser spotted blue bird that I've just terrified with my net. Okay, fine. Hey, birds. Ah. Oh, 
balls. My net was far too dominant for them, I think. No, you don't. I will catch you, bird. My name is not Dick Dastardly. Stupid quad peep piranha plant. My neck. Nab him. Jab him. Get me that pigeon now. Uh, tap him. I mean, I've forgotten the layer. I remember that. Dick Dastardly's flying machines with Yankee Doodle Pigeon. God, I really. I'll have to track that down on YouTube at some point. I remember loving that when I was a kid. Key races as well. Feathers? But I, I needed three. What? I, what? I, what? What? You tend to forget very, the very beginning of the song is just DD verbal <laughs> verbally ev eviscerating his entire team. <laughs> now that you mention it, yeah, I remember that. Oh, blimey, that takes... I'm getting all nostalgic now. I'm trying to remember the name of the team. Wasn't one of them Krunk? Or am I thinking of the dude from The Emperor's New Groove? That clonk. Krunk, clonk. Dingus. No, not Dingus. Kronk. No, not Kronk. No, no, no. Too many names. I'm gonna look that up after the stream, I think. <laughs> Just Dick Dastardly's, Dick Dastardly's flying machines. Right, there we go. And this time it actually dropped me off at the bazaar. Well done, game. It was a good game. Uh, no, not you. You! Gadget dude! I wish to upgrade my shield. Vulture Squadron contained Clunk and Zilly. Ah, there we go. Well, one of them was called Clunk. Ah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, for the love of it. That's what I was... Ah, I just needed normal bird feathers. Jordan Bennett. Okay, well, we can guess what we're doing. <laughs> fool, Ezio. You fool. Oh, it's literally... Oh, no, 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 wait, that's Lenebra. Fool guy. It said bird feathers, not blue bird feathers. What are you doing, you fool? Uh, Clunk was the one that spoke mostly in noises. Zilly was the scurdy cat that hid in his own flying helmet. Ah, here we go.
I do. I remember. I remember Clunk for speaking mostly in. <laughs> yeah, I remember Clunk for mostly speaking. It's just weird noises, clicks and garbled, basically. Um. I'm gonna have to track that down. I mean, mentioning old cartoons, I used to absolutely adore Fillmore as well on the Disney Channel and Kim Possible. I ended up watching a couple of clips of Kim Possible not too long ago. It still holds up exceedingly well. I come burring this net. Please don't fly away. One. The log. Not any use. Think of that. I wonder if they ever released Kim Possible on a box set. I know they certainly didn't release Fillmore on a box set. Fillmore is one of those shows that I would have happily bought the entire box set for, and the special edition. I loved Fillmore when I was a kid. Actually, I, kept, I tracked it down on a with various sources a few a couple of years back, and I rewatched the. I just binge watched the entire series, all of it again, and yeah, no, it's still that was still a fun show. I was nowhere near you, you stupid birds. Right. If anyone asks, we did not kill and then eat this delicious plump-breasted pigeon. What didn't we do, Baldrick? Uh. Hey, take a swig of whiskey. Oh, okay. That's the first, that's the first time you've ever redeemed that, Kev. Also, hey, old Kev. Cheers. A toast in memory of Speckled Gem. Hail. Hail, my Speckled Gem. Kill him! Kill the philanderous pigeon murderer! <laughs> God, I love Blackadder Goes Forth as well. That's my favourite Blackadder. Bah. Is it possible that I get? Is it possible, sir, that I get some time off to recover from my great traumatic experience? Ah, oh, well, Blackadder, you would have to ask your commanding officer. But, sir, you're my commanding officer. Yes. Can I, sir? Oh. Very good, sir. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the classic. Baldrick, what are you doing? Well, you know, sir, they say how everyone has a bullet with their name on it. Yes. Well, sir, I figured if I write my name on this bullet, then nobody can shoot me with it. Because I'm not going to shoot myself, am I? Oh, aren't you? What a terrible shame. <laughs> they don't make comedies like they used to. It's a shame, really. Or maybe they do and I've missed them, but most of the stuff I've seen just doesn't hold a candle to the likes of the, the old Brit the, the classic British sitcoms like Dad's Army and Blackadder. They were just, they were daft and they were silly and they were brilliant amount of fun. Now they all have to be intelligent and have some sort of weird message to them. It's just bollocks. Or it's, it's like really cleverly written and it's just, I don't want cleverly written. Just have some people being complete idiots with a laughter track and I'm more than happy. I don't need anything more than that. Also, I don't think I have redeemed that before. Ah, well, you see. There you see. Ow. Just cripped my neck as well. Fun. I'm not complaining. <laughs> That's there for a reason. The only reason it's set so high is because when I first put it in, members of this community decided it would be very fun to spam it. And though I was a very happy Ezio by the end of the stream, I, I really could not do that on a night, on a work night. Especially now when I have to be up so early. Um, okay. Bird. Yeah, bird. Who's a good bird? Who's a good bird? Got ya! <laughs> um... How many of those did I need? I think I've got enough. I think I know an old comedy you might love. We'll discuss it with you another time. Aye, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm mentioning old comedies. One, I'm still in sight shock that the BBC now have a disclaimer before Dad's Army in case it causes offence because it's Dad's Army. 
But uh, I suppose one one show that will most certainly never be on the TV again is it Ain't Half Hot Month. Which is a brilliantly funny show, but for reasons some fan, anyone who's seen it can probably guess, I don't think it'll probably fly under the whole radar of political correctness, so yeah, there's that. A lower low might be another one as well, because it's basically just taking the mick out of the French for the entirety of the series. I mean, there's the French resistance, but... Hello, hello is fine? I don't know, people will probably find it insulting to the French. Even the Germans bought it. Oh, well, there you go! <laughs> hello, hello is a br is brilliant. I remember watching that on a Sunday afternoon. Hey! Repeats of it, and not that well. And... It's equal opportunity. Everyone is an idiot. Yeah, pretty much. The French are idiots, the British are idiots, the Germans are idiots. <laughs> Rene! Rene! The nubs! The nubs are flushing! Come to think of it, out of context, that's going to sound really weird. But it was just silly fun. That's it. That's a lot of what the Brit old British sitcoms were. Just silly fun. Porridge. Porridge is another one. And open all hours. Ronnie Barker. <laughs> Shut up, you old bat! <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, keys, I guess. <laughs> Oh, if only I could get those wretched things to shut up. <laughs> Here we go. You have upgraded to the Gutter Shield. This shield repairs itself with sacred power and is even more durable than the other versions of this shield. Marvelous. Looks like that. Yeah, I'll try. Oh, good lord, I don't know what that voice is. Yo. Looks like you don't have anything else I can upgrade. Come back soon. Cool. Welcome to Ezio and Kevin's Comedy Discussion Hour. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Don't watch much TV nowadays. I, I find most of it just a bit of a drag, really. A bit depressing, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, link, equip the... No, equip the shield! Good lord, man. It's not that hard. No, Beetle won't get any new stock until I've completed the next dungeon, temple, whatever it is, will he? Okay, well, on that note, next to our dear sweet Oriel, let us save the game and continue this next time. I honestly wish that I didn't have such a gap between streams. I really do. But there we go. Go. So, what have we done this evening? We have wrapped up the goddess cubes up to where we are in the game. With there are more goddess cubes to find, but we can't get to them until we've progressed through the story. So, yeah, you can guess what we're going to do next time? We've upgraded all our current items. The next one's going to be, I assume, the bow and arrow, considering you can buy arrows at the merchant, even though we've not got the bow yet. So we've got upgraded everything apart from the bow. And technically the other two shields, but I won't worry about them. I might, if I feel like it, farm the components to upgrade those two other shields, but I don't see much point in doing it when I've already upgraded to the best shield in the game so far. We've... Yeah, actually, no, that's pretty much it. We've got all the goddess cubes, we've upgraded all our items, we've got an upgrade for our shield, and we've unlocked a bunch of treasure chests and got a bunch of treasure. So, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll consider that a pretty good effort. So there we go. Anyway... With that said, it is now... Yeah, it's it's nearly 10 o'clock, so we're it's an over over our usual stop time, but I did start half an hour late and I wanted to wrap all that up. I'm probably going to regret it in the morning, but hey-ho. Uh, mainly because I'm up early, not because it was a bad stream, just I have to get up early to get sorted for work, so yay, yay work. Anyway, that said, let's wrap this thing up, shall we? So, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well... I'd really hope if it better. I'll try that again. 
Hi, I'm Metsy. It was a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, I really hope you'd hit that follow button, but the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, I stream here on Twitch every Thursday and Saturday at... Oh, no, every Thursday at 7 o'clock UK time and every Saturday at 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock UK time. If you ever missed any of these streams, if you want to catch up our run of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD so far, you can find all of these vo uh, all of these streams uploaded to the VOD section of this very channel as well as a link to the YouTube archives down below containing playlists of every game, every journey as I call them, that we have ever been on. Unfortunately, due to the recent Twitch uh, Twitch leaks and hacks and stuff, the YouTube archive isn't quite up to date. It's about a week behind because the export function between Twitch and YouTube broke and therefore I couldn't get my up my exports uploaded. So yeah, I'll, I'm going to try and over the next couple of days push the boat, push the envelope and get all of the VODs up there, get all of the stuff uploaded to the archive, hopefully in a sane and rational manner. It might take about a week, but we'll get there. But yeah, so that's a bit behind on the Let's Play for Skyward Sword, but every other game is there, including our 300 plus episode of Yakuza 0. Yeah, even I still can't believe it went that long, but that's how it goes. Um, back to the stream. You're very welcome, Just Razor. Skeller Poppy, welcome, uh, welcome back. We have not progressed any of the story. We've got all the goddess cubes up to this point in the game. We have upgraded our shield to the best shield that it can possibly be. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. We've done upgrades. So come Saturday, uh, well, come for the Saturday, well, come the Saturday stream. There we go. We hit the story. We go back to the Lanero, back to Lanero Desert. We find our way to wherever it is we're supposed to go. We get the flame of Nehru, 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 and yeah, awesome. Right, so we could, yeah, we're, we're pretty much there for progression through the game. Back to the story, which seems really weird for me to say, but there we go. Also, seeing that my time is 31 hours rather than the usual 131 is quite a nice change of pace as well. Anyway, I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you, be you a chatter, be you a lurker, be you watching live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archives. Thank you very much for joining me this evening as we have journeyed through this amazing game. And thank you very much for spending a little bit of your life here with me on the channel. It means the world. It always will do. And it always does. But anyway, with that said, let's get out of here for the time being. We've got a good number, actually. So let's see about a raid. Hopefully there's somebody live who we can raid. That depends on who's on the raid list. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da couple of art streams. Hey, Skeller Puppy with cheering a single bit. Hey, little Skeller Puppy, you didn't have to do that, but cheers, thank you, thank you very much. Um, right, I don't know who I'm going to raid. I really need to grow my raid list a bit. Metroid Dread. Wait, what? That's Metroid Dread. Um. Well, with that, we might as well raid the good old Formaganda. He's a chill dude. He's been a good break mate to me. Well, I say he's a chill dude. I don't know if we're friends. I'd be friends. If we asked him, he'd probably say yes. But anyway, I'm, I'm overthinking again. So, you know what? Let's just get this raid going, eh? So. Boom, again, that. And I've already screwed up the form chap's name. There we go. Boom, again, playing Metroid Dread. Oh, promise. Wait, is he playing Metroid Dread? Ah! No, hold on. Sorry, I don't want. I, I, I will avoid that because I don't want to spoil. Why is everyone playing Metroid Dread? <laughs> oh come on! I know it's an awesome game, but I haven't finished it yet. Right, you know what? On that note, unless anyone's got any recommendations, I think I'm just going to call it here then. So, with that said, with that done, to each and every one of you, be you a chatter, be you a lurker. Oh wait, I've already said that. Try again. It's only been a week. Oh, Apparently, I'm out of practice now. To each and every one of you, may you all have a beautiful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are, and as always, and until our paths next cross again, the vortex awaits, and I'll see you all next time.
And we're back. <laughs> One of your friends is playing Fall Guys. Well, you know what, Skelly? We'll throw a raid over to them. Who are they? <laughs> Yes, funny. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, chat. I know. It's not often that we do that. I think the last time I actually pulled out of now out of the intro was um when we did it was the Kingdom Hearts free playthrough at the very end of Remind, where I pulled out to do the do a one-time credits roll, one-time version with the uh, the credit song I was using. Ah, indeed. You've only you've managed to just wait. DS Reaper ninety two playing Full Guys Ultimate Knockout. Well, we'll throw it right over to them. Yeah, sorry, Nintendo. Just wrapped up. We uh, we were actually in the credits, but somebody threw out a raid idea, so yeah, but I'll go with the raid. I'm going with the raid request. Anyway, with that said, that raid is now set and good to go, so let's wrap this up at good and proper this time. So, to each and every one of you, may you all have a beautiful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world. And, as always, until our paths next cross again, the Vortex awaits... And I'll see you all next time.